Tonight on Sports Central, we're going to be going over a massive game of week number five of the 2020 season. That's going to be between Texas A&M and Alabama. Both of these teams, of course, are 1-0 to start off the season. Both teams are looking like national contenders as well right now. So this is a very important game for both these teams. And today we're going to be going over a full prediction and preview on this game, along with my full thoughts on it, starting out with your team trends for both of these teams. Of course, last week, Texas A&M beat off Vanderbilt 17-12. And, I mean, that was a much closer game than many expected, including myself. I mean, I think Texas A&M probably should have won that game by more than just five points. But in the end, a win's a win. But, yeah, that was definitely a little bit close for comfort for Texas A&M. But as for Alabama, they dominated Missouri 38-19. to And Alabama, from the start, they started fast and they ended uh, the same way. They ended up winning that one 38-19 once again. All around a good game for Alabama there. Uh, but, I mean, 19 points overall to a Missouri team is not all that terrible. Winning streaks for both these teams. Of course, both teams are 1-0. So both teams do have a one-game winning streak, obviously. But moving forward towards this, of course, this game is going to be on Saturday, October 3rd, 3.30 p.m. Eastern in Tuscaloosa. So Alabama will be the home team for this one. Spike currently says Alabama by 9.5. ESPN FBI's also got Alabama in a heavy 91%. That is extremely one-sided towards Alabama, considering both of these teams are top 10 teams in the nation right now. Uh, so that did surprise me just a bit. But the Vegas prediction also heavily sided towards Alabama with a 34 to 21 prediction with Alabama winning. So all around, I mean, yeah, this is kind of surprising to me to see Alabama favored by this much. I mean, I think Texas A&M with Kellen Mond at quarterback, that, I mean, that's a team that definitely could hang around a team like Alabama. So it does kind of surprise me to see Texas A&M as, as underdogged as they are. But I think Alabama in the end, um, I mean, it, it makes sense for them to be favored here, but they are favored by quite a bit in comparison to how I think it should be. But as far as your stat comparison goes, these are your or these are your stats from last week. Of course, Kellen Mond was 17 for 28, 189 yards and a touchdown. So he didn't really put up a whole lot of yardage. Uh, which is a little bit concerning. I think Helen Mond definitely could have put up or could have put up many more yards than that. I mean, he's definitely a quarterback that should be one of the best in the SEC next or this season. And I think Helen Mond in general is a very underrated quarterback. I mean, if you look at his stats from previous seasons, yeah, it easily shows that he could be a major quarterback this season. But I mean, the first game against Vanderbilt really did not show. But yeah, Kellen Mond's going to need a really big game here against Alabama if this Texas A&M team is going to pull an upset. As far as the running back situation goes, you got Isaiah Spiller, eight attempts for 117 yards. And then you also had Smith, who had 10 attempts for 50, 51 yards, and a touchdown along with that. As far as the receiving core for Texas A&M, you have Caleb Chapman, four receptions, 40 yards, and a touchdown. And then Jalen Preston as well, four receptions for 39 yards. So all around this offense definitely should be one of the best in the SEC this season. I mean, especially with Kellen Mond, once again, uh, he's a quarterback that a lot of people sleep on. I mean, we've seen him put up some great performances in the past couple of years. So watch out for him looking forward into this matchup here against Alabama. As for the Crimson Tide, you got Mac Jones at quarterback, 18 for 24 last week, 249 yards and two touchdowns. So he had an excellent game against Missouri. Of course, I mean, he only passed 24 times, but out of those 18 or out of those 24 attempts, he did have 250 yards out of it. So all around, just a great performance out of him. We also saw Najee Harris have a good game, 17 attempts for 98 yards and three touchdowns. And then Jalen Waddle also had a lot of action last week, eight receptions for 134 yards and two touchdowns. Devontae Smith, don't forget about him, eight receptions for 89 yards. Then John Mechie quietly had a pretty good game, two receptions for 42 yards. So all around, yeah, both these teams and both these offenses definitely should be the best in the nation uh, this entire season. So expect this game to possibly be more of a high-scoring one. Some key points. Alabama played great last week, no doubt about that. Obviously, they had a big win against Missouri. They basically doubled them up 38-19. to uh, But Texas A&M, though, no doubt they had a slow start last week against Vanderbilt. I mean, Vanderbilt's definitely a team that should have been beat uh, by a lot more than what Texas A&M did. I mean, I expected a two to three touchdown win out of Texas A&M last week. But then again, it was only the first game of the season. So really, I don't have many concerns about it. But they're definitely going to have to play better this week if they're going to be able to beat off Alabama. And Kellen Mond has potential once again to be a top five quarterback in the nation, I think. Um, obviously, he's a very underrated one. If you look at his stats, I mean, once again, from last season especially, yeah, he's a quarterback that definitely has to be on the watch list for this season. And I definitely think, I mean, he didn't play great against Vanderbilt, but if he plays a good game here against Alabama, watch out for him, especially for the rest of the season. And Alabama's offense, I mean, Alabama's offense is looking great this season right now. Once again, Mac Jones at quarterback, Najee Harris, who is going to be a very early draft pick 
um, in the next NFL draft. Uh, yeah, Alabama's offense is going to be really good this season. I think for Texas A&M, if they're going to win this game, they have to have a great defense. Their defense has to show up, and they cannot allow more than 20 points uh, from Alabama. I mean, Alabama is going to be a great team in general, and they're going to play really well in this one. And their offense, I mean, they've got all the keys to be a great team as far as the offensive side goes. So for Texas A&M, they got to hold Alabama to less than 20 points, I think, if Texas A&M is going to get a win here because – I mean, if you get even under 30, I think would be good for Texas A&M because I think Alabama's got potential to possibly lay up 30-plus points on Texas A&M. So, yeah, Alabama's got to play really well on the offensive side, but especially for Texas A&M, uh, Texas A&M is going to have to stop uh, this offense if they're going to win this game here. As far as my prediction goes, though, I think Alabama does get the win in the end. I do think Texas A&M, they're not going to get blown out, but they're kind of be in the they're going to be in the background for the majority of this game. I think your halftime score is going to be 21 to 13. Alabama will be leading it at the half. Uh, but however, your final score is going to be 38 to 27. Once again, with Alabama getting the win, it's going to be more of a high-scoring game. I just think with both of these offenses uh, looking as good as they are, uh, I do think we see a bit of a shootout here. But I think Alabama leads up for the majority of the game. I just think Texas A&M kind of sticks around in the background for the majority of this one because um, it's going to be an eight-point lead for Alabama at halftime and then 11-point win for Alabama in the end. So I do think Texas A&M, I mean, they're going to hang around here, but they just can't get the win in the end. I don't think that the Aggies are quite good enough of a team to beat off a team like Alabama quite yet in this season. But Texas A&M certainly, I mean, they've got the talent and they've got the potential to have a great season still. It's just I don't think that they have the talent or I don't think that they've got the potential to beat off Alabama in the early parts of the season. I mean, if this game was possibly later on, possibly we could be looking at a possible upset alert, but I think Alabama gets the win here in the end, 38-27 to in the end. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this game. Let me know your score predictions, team predictions, etc. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. But yeah, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this preview, slap a like on this video, subscribe as well. Really upset the channel. I'd really appreciate that. As always, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll see you all later.